Hi guys and welcome. You're joining me today to see how I make this skirt. Now the top piece used to be a pair of jeans and I've just cut the legs off. Because starting off with this for a part of a skirt, you've got a great structure. You've got the top that fits you well as they did with jeans so you know that they're going to be, it's going to be a good fit on you. You're keeping your pockets, your back pocket for putting your phone in. You can do it shorter than this. You don't have to do it this length. And if you've got long pockets, don't lose your pockets. Just unpick so much of it and then put your skirt on and then stitch the pocket back on so you're not losing your pocket. So let's get started. I've turned the jeans inside out and I'm going to mark from the waist coming down all the way around. So I'm going to take this to the top and I'm going to mark that. I want it to be quite a bit below the pockets. Yeah, so I'm going to mark that to 12 and a half inch because that, that will include some seam allowance. Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire Right, so I'm going to cut this off now. I'm just going to put a snip there. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. Right, so what you need to decide now, guys, is how long you want the skirt to be. So put the skirt top on. So the top of the jeans that you just cut. Put this on and then you need this type of tape measure, you know, so it's going to, you've got more control over this than you have with a loose tape measure. Because if you're trying to work out with this, it's flopping about, it's not straight, you've got your kinks in it. But with one of these metal ones, you're going to get a better reading. Now, I don't want my skirt to be a maxi skirt, but I do want three tiers in it. So I think I want it probably in fact let me just go and have a quick look at mirror yeah i think i want it the length that this dress is so i'm going to take the tape measure put it to that waist there so i can just see that it's hanging onto there and that where the bottom of the jeans are there so that is 18 inch so 18 inch so what I've got here is the 18 inch length skirt that I want in the tiers. I want three tiers, so I'm dividing that by three, which actually gives me six. I'm going to add an inch seam allowance on each tier for the top and bottom, which is going to give me seven inch. And it's seven inch that I'm going to be cutting the tiers to. Okay, 18 divided by three equals six plus one is seven. Right, so how much fabric do I need in my tiers? The first, the top tier, I'm going to put one width. The second tier, two width. The third tier, four widths. So this is you're getting more gather as you're going down the skirt. So I've got my fabric folded in half. And the beauty with this fabric is it's a double-sided fabric. So with the three tiers, I'm going to have two with, the, with this floral on. And the middle one is going to be a striped one. So I'm going to measure seven inch but i'm going to do two seven inches cut two and i need seven in total so let me just get that to 14. So i'm going to mark it at seven and then mark it at 14. it's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine we want to chase the night Right, so I've got the second tier. There was actually a pull on one of the pieces. So I'm actually, 
this where I've actually started marking it. I'm going to make sure that that's the second tier because then that will be inside. It will wash off, but so I'm just going to get the wits together now, ready to be overlocked. Right, so I'm just going to overlock all the M's together. We lay awake in bed. It lasts so loud as the hours pass. We're gonna do it all again. Now this is the bottom one. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna overlock around the bottom of the skirt. Let me just see if you can see, I know it's flowered, but is the top or is the bottom? Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to put this down here and just, like I said, overlock around the whole of the bottom of it. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to go and press this under and then I'm going to stitch this because it'll be much easier to do now than at the end because I'm not working with a bulk. Right, so the beauty about pressing your hem over as well is that you don't need to use pins or clips because you've already pressed it in place. I'm going to find a seam to start off on where the back tack will be. I'm going to aim to stitch in the centre of that overlocking. That's going to be my guideline. And then I'm just going to start by running that through. Any overlocking, just tuck it inside the hem. Right, so I'm going to be cutting the threads now for gathering the tears. So on the top one, I just need this width to fit this area. So the denim's very stretchy, but obviously this isn't. So when I actually put the top tier on, I am going to stretch this out a little so that I'm going to be able to get it on. So for the top piece then, like I said, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Right, so let me just stretch that out a little bit there and then times that by two and then I need some overhang. So that there will be my first piece. So let me just put that to there. Right, the second tier, I'm going to put two lots of thread because there's two widths on the second tier so one width will fit half of this front so i'm just going to cut that thread to half and then allow some overhang on the needle and then i'm going to do another piece exactly the same length to that Right, and then that's my two pieces for the two width, which is that one. So I'm going to put them two threads with that. Right, so I'm going to start on the top tier first. Get my needle in that one thread. And this is what I mean by the overhang for the needle is this what's hanging down. I'm going to put a knot in the end. And then I'm going to start stitching. Now let me find out which is the right side up of the fabric. Because obviously it's the top that I need to do. Right, so I'm going to get the join. And then I'm just going to start. And I'm just coming down slightly. 
and then I'm just going to start doing wide stitches and gathering this up. So when I get here, where the overhang is, because that's doubled, so if you put it in single form, it's about the right amount. So I'm just going to keep stitching that so it's secure and it's not going to come undone. Now the second one, which has got two pieces of cotton on, I will do one thread on one of the whips and then I'm going to do the other thread on the second whip. Then on the bottom one where there's four whips, I've got four pieces of threads, for one for each whip. So I'm going to do the exact same. I'm going to carry on, but I'm going to do that off camera. Right, so I've got my three tiers here after they're all gathered. So I'm going to attach the tiers at this point. So I've got them all gathered, and then I'm not attaching it to the actual denim piece until the very end. So the two tier, the second tier, which has got two pieces in it, I'm going to just... Turn it the wrong way, inside out, should I say. And then where the, I want to get where the side seams are, there. Lay it out, and then I'm going to make sure that the gathers is all even. And that's pretty even on that side. Right, let's have a look on this side. Because you don't want too much in one area, you want to make sure that it's all pretty even. And then I'm going to take, put a clip. This is the top tier, but I'm going to put a clip here because there's no side seam on that. But that's telling me that that's the halfway marker point. Right, so the bottom of the top tier is going to the top of the second tier. And then we're going to clip them together, side seams together. Go to the other side where that clip is and that's going to be clipped to the opposite seam and then I'm just going to start clipping this as I go along right side of fabric facing each other So let me just undo that to get some of that gather further across so that there's not too much there. Okay. Right. So on the right side, you can see there that I've got flowers, stripe, and then the flowers are going to go on the bottom. So I've got one side seam here, and I'm going to find, first of all, though, I'm going to just lay it down and I'm going to get the joins again find out where the joins are right so on here where the seams are let me just find where they are this is on the second tier I'm putting those where the seams is together like so and then I need to find out where the center point is on that so I'm going to get that and I'm going to put a clip in that centre point and then I need to do the same on the opposite piece because there's two tiers, two pieces isn't there on the second tier. Right, so. That there and then I've got my four quarters that I need. Right, so I'm going to get one seam on the bottom tier and I'm going to just take this to where that one of those clips are put that together get the next seam clip that to the seam there so you've got your seam your seam clip that and then i need to start easing this in to that quarter again making sure that them gathers are even 
bring that up. I'm going to get the next one where that clip is there. Get the next seam. Where is that? There. Clip that. Two more quarters to do. Right, and then that is the bottom part of the skirt clipped in place. <laughs> Let me get this all stitched in place. Now I'm going to stitch with the gathered bit on top and the straight bit underneath because this will be easier. Right, I'm going to start with the top one. You're also in control of the gathering at this and that it's not going to tuck. So what I've just done off camera guys is I've just put the inside of the denim top inside so once again it's right sides together and I've quartered it off so that you've got even amounts going into it so you've got the side seam to the side seam clipped side seam to the side seam clipped you've got a center seam front and back so it was just a case of the top tier getting your side seams, getting your clip and putting it to that centre seam so that you can see there it's a little bit big but I'm stretching it out so that like I said there's some stretch when I'm putting it on. All right, so let's get this put on and again I'm going to have this when it's slightly gathered on top. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us high Night's young, it has just begun. And she puts her hand in. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut, you know, cottons that's uh, around it, and I'm going to take the, you know, where I tacked it, I'm going to pull all those cottons out, give it a little bit of a press. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. So, if you've got a pair of jeans that you tied on that you were thinking of sending to a charity shop, this is another option that you can do with them. I actually picked these pair up for a, a pound in a charity shop and they're actually were Marks and Spencer's jeans, but I just wanted a pair of jeans to do this type of project on and I think it's turned out pretty well. The blue goes with the blue. I've got two different options because it's reversible fabric that I've used to make it. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care for now and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.